Well, hello everybody. Welcome back to my uh, Feed the Beast world, and uh, welcome back, of course, to Feed the Beast Basics. So, uh, this is going to be episode three, and uh, instead of actually staging which materials I'm going to use, I'm uh, basically staging which uh, machines I'm actually going going to demo today. Uh, so, yeah, going to demonstrate six different machines here. Uh, first of all, the automatic crafting table, and then the builder, architect table, mining well pump, and quarry. Uh, so yeah, these are just some of the machines that you can make in build craft. And um, yeah, I'm not going to get into all of them, uh, since yeah, this is basically going to be the close of the, uh, the basics for, for build craft. Uh, so, let's go ahead and get to it, shall we? Well, here we have a basic setup here for an automatic crafting table. Our automatic crafting table, our recipe for that is as shown. Basically, a regular crafting table with four wooden gears attached. Very good. Uh, now, one thing that we basically want to mention about the auto crafting table is that it is basically a crafting table with a couple of different things. One, you can actually put things into the automatic crafting table via a wooden pipe. Uh, it holds a recipe, unlike a regular crafting table, and things can be pulled out of it. So, very good stuff. Uh, so, say for instance we wanted to make some wooden slabs. Okay, we can go ahead, get out of the inventory, and it'll leave it in there. Awesome. Uh, now another thing here. We, could, we can go ahead and put oh, about eight of those in there. And then it'll pull it in. And it'll actually place it into the regular spaces. Very cool. And then when that's done, it'll pull them out, and there's our slabs. Awesome stuff. Okay. So that's basically the automatic crafting table in a nutshell. Uh, so yeah, this is a very basic thing, so you can do anything with this. You can, uh, basically anything that you can craft, uh, you can go ahead and use the automatic crafting table for, which is awesome. So, moving right along. Okay, let's say, for instance, you have a basic plan for a house, uh, and let's say you wanted to replicate this somewhere else. Uh, this is basically what the builder is for, uh, however, it all basically works in tandem, the builder, with the architect table. Um, so yeah, the architect table, what it does, it is it actually saves the block location information on uh, a certain area, and it saves it into a uh, either a template or a blueprint. It's good stuff. So with that. Yeah, you can have a basic layout for a house or, or some structure, whatever, and uh, you can replicate it, which is really cool. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to take some of these here landmarks, recipes as, come on, as such, it's basically a redstone torch and some lapis. Cool. And our landmark... If we lay that down, and let's grab us a lever. Okay, now with the lever, turn that on, it'll show us some some uh, straight lines here. Awesome. So we can place the rest of these in line with this. Let's go up there and there cool and one more right there I think that's what it needs 
Okay. Anyway, let's take that off. And... Okay, so now that we have things mapped out, we need to activate that. There we go. And then let us place down our architect table. Where to go? There you are. There's our architect table. Bloop. Very good. And our pieces here need to be retrieved. Yeah, one thing you do need to remember is when you uh, when you utilize these landmarks, they do need to be retrieved. Okay, so with that we have our UI for the architect table. Basically, you'll just need to put a blueprint in there, and we'll be good. And then you can name it whatever you want. Ah, uh, so let's go there. Let's name it house. House 1. There we go. Boom. There we go. There's our blueprint. I guess not. Okay. So yeah, there's our blueprint. Now that we have our blueprint, let's go ahead and plot down a builder. Let's put it somewhere else. Uh, let's say over over here. Okay. Uh, so where is our builder? Builder. Okay. Builder plop. Okay. Builder, basically you need to put your blueprint in there and it shows you how much of the materials you'll need. Uh, so you basically just need to... Let's see. One, two, three. So, let's see, 124, that should be enough. Very good. And then we need to power it, which we can do with our Sterling engines. And we need coal. Engine, engine, come on, engine, there we go, and wood, lever, 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 okay, there's our lever, so, coal. Cool. And on you go. Go. And this thing will basically place all the blocks needed. Very cool. So with that you can basically build automatically. And the pig's gonna die. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I'll come back when that's finished. Okay, this is just about done here. Uh, so yeah, basically, with some p with some sufficient build craft power, the builder works quite effectively. Very much awesome. Uh, now, I did use a blueprint to do this, but uh, this is basically what the uh, the templates do as well. Basically, they store just the block location. However, one nice thing about the the particular bits here. Let's say that's done. We can turn the, these things off now. Very good. Uh, now, as I was saying, one nice thing about the blueprints is they actually store item uh, types as well. So if we wanted to deck this place out a little bit, say if we wanted a door, uh, let's grab a door. There we go. Let's grab a stair, single stone stair, and a bed. Okay. So let's deck this place out a little bit. Here we go. Yeah, basically just 
bed, crafting table, whatnot. The basics. Now, if we wanted to uh, to save this information, we would just need to put in another blueprint. And it'll save it. There we go. There's the next blueprint. Very good. So now we just need to stuff it in here. Foomp. And where's that one? There you are. There you go. There's all the stuff you need. There we go. It's just finishing placing all the torches. And it looks like it's about done. Awesome. And none too soon, because it's getting dark out. Awesome. So we go in there. Basically the spitting image of the other house over there. Very good. Alright, moving on. Now I'll go ahead and get back over here to this quarry that I started building last episode. I'll go ahead and get the power going there. And uh, basically, from where we were before, it's just building the scaffolding for the machine itself. And once that's completed, we should see an arm going down, and then it'll start build, and it'll start uh, digging out what's underneath it. And there it goes. All right, let's take a look. There we go. Ah, gorgeous. And then, basically outputs straight into this chest. Very good. I'll go ahead and uh, let this go for a little bit and see what we find. Well, as you can see, it's done at least a little bit of digging. It's starting to go, go, through, uh, go through stone right now. And we're getting a lot of cobblestone. And uh, as you can see, this is a very efficient means of actually mining. Uh, of course, you are going to get everything within this little area, which shouldn't be too much a problem because, you know, there's a lot of stuff you can do with, uh, with cobble and whatnot. Uh, and, of course, it will mine basically anything short of, uh, of course, lava and all of that good stuff. And this will go all the way down to bedrock. So yeah, this is a very, very efficient way of gathering resources. And uh, one thing to note here, you can actually make this particular area larger by using the landmarks that I showed to you with the builder over there. And uh, yeah, good stuff. I'll go ahead and move on to the next one. Now, this mining well here uh, is basically a uh, very s uh, much smaller and uh, not nearly as powerful version of the quarry over there. Basically, what this does is, uh, upon receiving power, it digs straight down. Uh, so, yeah, basically, if you want a uh, quick hole, uh, this is the way to do it. Very good. Uh, but this is not particularly a uh, an impressive machine. Uh, what is, however, is this here, this here pump, which is basically made using this. So I'll go ahead and demo that right now. Okay, I went ahead and made me a short little pier over here above some water. Now I'll go ahead and place this pump right here. Now if we look down here we should see a little arm going down here. Very cool. And this will go down to the nearest water source, or liquid source, as you may have it. So you can actually pump either water, oil, or lava using this pump. Basically any liquid. It's good stuff. And with that, let's go ahead and knock this off and let's grab us some redstone engines. Another good use for the redstone engine is the, this particular pump setup. Cool. And 
couple levers. All right, now uh, let's grab us some waterproof pipe, shall we? Up, up. No, that's not. That's, that's wooden waterproof. Don't need wooden waterproof. I need golden waterproof. I will be back when I get that. Okay, got us our golden waterproof pipe. So let's go ahead and connect this up. There. Okay. Over here. Let's make it some daytime over here. Bloop. There. Okay. Now, over here, let's go ahead and get us some some tanks. Okay. Now these tanks, basically crafted as such, just with some glass, is a storage for liquids. Very good stuff. So let's just go ahead and put a few of those up here and power up our pumps. Click and click okay and what will happen is it will actually take source blocks out of our water source and uh, move them through our system see there's our water awesome and it will move into the tank cool and if we wanted to, let's go ahead and grab a bucket. And then we can actually extract from the tank into our bucket. Cool. Well, of course, I'm in creative mode, so it doesn't actually show the, the water in the bucket. But, yeah, you get the idea. Anyway... Uh, that is a very cool machine, one of the more useful, at least with a multiple mod environment like this one. And uh, with that, I believe that's all of our machines. Let's go ahead and check out if there was anything else. And there was not. Okay, so I uh, definitely encourage you to check out some more stuff that is build craft. Uh, so yeah, things like conductive pipes, uh, which you can actually hook up engines to and transfer power between in between the uh, different machines. Um, different logic gates for pipes. Uh, which can actually turn things on. So yeah, you can actually turn on an engine uh, if a machine has work to do. Uh, stuff like that, which is uh, yeah, a little bit more advanced in, uh, in the Buildcraft mod, but it is a very cool thing to do, and I uh, highly encourage you to check it out. Uh, so definitely look forward to next episode. I'm actually going to start the uh, the utilization of the industrial craft mod. So uh, certainly look forward to that, and I will see you on the next one.